Hey everybody, uh, Abe Safa here. Um, just wanted to shoot this quick video uh, because today is March 31st, which means two things. Number one, it's the end of the month. Uh, so March is wrapping up uh, here in a few more hours. And it's also the end of the first quarter of 2021. Um, so tomorrow starts a brand new chapter. Uh, it's a brand new month and it's a brand new quarter. So a fourth of the year is already gone. It's in the books, it's history. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, challenges out there right now in this market. Um, there's more agents out there nationwide than there are number of listings. So I know it's tight. There's not much inventory out there. If you're a listing agent, it's tougher and tougher to get a listing. If you're a buyer's agent, it's tougher and tougher to get a contract. You're out there running, showing property, um, and then you're getting into multiple offer scenarios over and over. So it is tight, no question about it, right? But there's still plenty of business out there to be had. Uh, nationally, there's going to be uh, roughly 6 million sales this year. That'll probably set a record for number of sales, a uh, number of transactions nationwide. So even though it feels like there's less and less inventory hitting the market, it is going out there. It's just turning over so much quicker, right? So there is business. So anyway, I wanted to give you three things to do going into the second quarter that, that should help you um, in, in making sure that you, if you're behind for the year to get back on track, if you're ahead for the year to kind of propel you forward and to have a really solid year. So number one, is, is change your thoughts, all right? Change your mindset about what the market is right now, okay? Instead of thinking of how tight it is, okay? Instead of thinking how there's no listings out there, instead of thinking on about that there's no homes for my buyers, think of it the other way around, okay? If you're a listing agent, think about the opportunity that's out there. Like one of the toughest conversations to have with people and one of the biggest objections is usually over price. Right now, that is the easiest conversation to have because as a seller in most markets right now, you can pretty much pick whatever price you want. And guess what? Homes are selling, right? Within reason, right? You can't take a $300,000 home and price it in a million, right? But within reason, you know, 10, 15%, even 20% sometimes in some markets you're able to get because of lack of inventory. So you've got a huge opportunity right now that when you call a seller, it's the easiest conversation in the world to have with them Okay, you just have to be in action and make more contacts to be able to find people that are willing to move. So number one is change your thoughts. Also, as a buyer's agent, inventory, uh, not inventory, but interest rates right now is still really low. Okay, we're starting to see them get bumped up a little bit. And, and many people in the mortgage industry, industry are predicting that interest rates will go up. Right. So that makes it an easier conversation for for buyers that a when we find the property, you have to move quickly. Number one because if we don't, we're going to lose out on it. Number two, the longer we wait, the higher prices are going up and the higher interest rates are going up. So that makes it a much easier conversation to create urgency within buyers. So change your mindset about what the market is right now and how it is and really start thinking about the opportunities that are out there. Transactions will happen this year. There's going to be a ton of them. You just got to decide whether you're going to be on the sidelines watching them and whining or whether you're going to be in the front of the line hustling and getting things done. So that's number one. Number two, right now you need to dig deeper into your centers of influence, your past clients and your database. That's golden right now. That's where all the deals are. You've got rapport with these people. You've got a relationship with them. Dig deeper and call them. Um, and you're gonna get some business out of there. I don't know why I still have this on. Um, so, so dig deeper with those three um, pillars and, and really work them and there's gonna be a ton of business in there, okay? Uh, last but not least, is you've got to take massive action, okay? The market is extremely hot right now. We don't know how long it's going to be. It could be a matter of months. It could be a matter of a year, but at some point it will correct. So right now you've got to get out there and you've got to hustle and you got to take massive action, talk to as many people as possible. And I guarantee you that the business is there to be had if you talk to enough people. Um, so those are the three things I just wanted to point out. Um, again, the second quarter starts tomorrow, brand new month, a uh, new start. You need to treat it as if it's the beginning of the year. Um, whatever has happened up to this date is history. Start from zero starting tomorrow morning and go out there and hustle, make a bunch of contacts, call your database, call your centers of influence, your past clients, okay? And, and really be positive about what's out there and, and think of the opportunity that you have in front of you right now. Uh, good luck and hope you have a great second quarter.